Hey there everybody, my name is Odd Marius. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you fine folks a wonderful feat of Card Magic 1, which is actually very dear to me. So after the performance I want to talk a little bit about it, sharing with you guys why that is so. This is something I worked out for a close-up performance situation standing up. So let me set up the camera for you guys and let's get this started with. Odd Mario's magic. Like and subscribe. All right now, boys and girls, I got for you guys three cards here set up ready to rock and roll. Two red ones and a blue one in the center. And I'm, I'm working the magic overall for you fine folks tuning in today with some blue tally ho fan bags. So nothing too much out of the ordinary and nothing too fancy as well, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? Wonderful. Now, next thing, we need to split the deck fairly enough. So let's do this right away because this is how we get it all started here. Let's do this together and stop right there. That looks good. Very nice eye measure, man. Thank you so much for your help. That's what I'm working with now. I'm taking the blue card here from the table right there to the center spot, right? Let's see what we're rolling with. And that is a Jack of Spades, ladies and gentlemen. Please note, I'm burying the Jack of Spades right here at the center of all them tally holes in my hands, right at the position where I just cut to. Okay, wonderful. Now, with that done, we are going back to the card table. And I got there two red cards waiting to be put to action, which means you guys need to make a crucial decision now whether this card or this card is now going to the bottom of the deck, since you know that is the, the next thing happening here, right? Okay, let's do it like this. Let's say whoever is in favor for, let's say, this card, going to the bottom of the deck now, please raise your arm. Whoa, 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 guys, <laughs> that is a lot of hands in the air. As a matter of fact, that's all the hands I need to see today for the Queen of Diamonds going here to the bottom of the deck. And please note, I'm placing the Queen of Diamonds face up at the bottom of the deck. So we got a red back Queen of Diamonds now face up at the bottom of the deck, which brings us back to the card table here again. However, this time with just one sad and lonely card waiting there to be put to action, which makes me wonder whether you guys are already guessing what's the deal with this one here. <laughs> Shall we take a look? And it is the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Makes kind of sense, right? Did you guess that? Two red queens in contrast to a black jack. That's what we're playing here. And then of course, I'm placing the queen now face up on top of the deck again. Makes kind of sense, right? <laughs> and this is what we got now, yeah? We got a queen of diamonds at the bottom, face up, that is. We got a queen of hearts on top, face up. And we got a jack of spades, well hidden among all them blue jelly holes, right here somewhere at the very center of the pack, in my hands, right? <laughs> now, the funny thing about all of this is though, and believe it or not, but while we are setting, while we are setting it up, that's when the queen at the bottom already kind of vanishes. <laughs> what? And funny again, because while our brain still figures what happened at the bottom here, well, that's exactly the moment when the queen on top also kind of vanishes. What? Where did the queens go? <laughs> now, you might not know about it, but the queens are actually super mad at the jack because the jack wants double cross them. <laughs> Stupid crazy jack of spades cheated on the queens and now they are up for revenge, you know? So that if we spread through the cards here, we will find that the queen of hearts actually managed to melt its way from the very top to a center spot here, just like the queen of diamonds, melting its way from the very bottom to a center spot here. And I'm not kidding you guys. Two queens face up, the queen of hearts from the top, the Queen of Diamonds from the bottom, sandwiching now one card face down pretty much at the very center spot of all them cards here. So to be honest with you guys, that was a pretty decent cut at the very beginning of the routine, remember? <laughs> and probably some of you folks are already guessing what card the Queens are sandwiching right now. Let's take a look anyway. And of course it is the Jack of Spades. Busted, baby. What was you thinking? Cheating on the Queens like that. <laughs> this, of course, also brings us back here quite neatly, in my humble opinion, to the very beginning of this lovely little routine with them three cards on the table, two red ones and a blue one in the center. And just in case anybody is wondering, of course, all of them cards can be examined. And when I say all of them, well, I mean all of them. <laughs> Isn't that freaking insane? Well, I think so. Now, if there is something like self-working tricks and magic, this is not one of them, <laughs> quite the contrary, actually, because this routine is the result of me trying to, let's say, transform an almost perfect card trick by Aaron Fisher called Search and Destroy into something purely sleight of hand based, which I believe when I started it, um, was what the world needed, <laughs> but I was young and stupid, <laughs> but that's a different story. Now, working this routine out, took me years. Let's say it evolved in my hands over the course of a very long and inconsistent time. 
However, figuring out, working around the technical problems and issues that came with the challenge shaped my understanding of the art form like only few things did. So that's why this specific routine is very important to me. <laughs> now, there is a bunch of legends who support me with a monthly pledge on Patreon. They call themselves the Odd Maniacs. <laughs> now guys, you can rejoice because I'm going right there on Patreon into an in-depth analysis of this very routine. However, without um, giving away the core components of that kind of magic. But I'm going to share with you the learning process. I'm going to share with you guys the general understanding that comes with studying that kind of magic. And in my humble opinion, this is much more value than just, you know, looking behind the scenes of yet another trick. So meet you there very soon on Patreon, you crazy odd maniacs. And thank you once again so much for your support. You make it happen. And I'm not just saying it, I mean it. Now, everybody else just watching on YouTube, which is fair enough. I really enjoy your feedback. So let me know what's going on in the comments. And if you hit that notification bell next to the subscription button after subscribing, of course, um, might increase your chances to get notified whenever I upload again, which I do quite frequently after all these years. My name is Otmarius. This is just what I do. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep the magic strong and see you soon. Be sure more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very soon. You know, it's what I'm always saying at the end of my videos. On Mario's magic. Like and subscribe.